Hey everybody, welcome to another Crypto J Bro video. In this one, I'm going to show you a little bit of how decentralized exchanges work and using this best uh, DEX graphic that you've ever seen in your life. So I'm going to rant a bit about DEXs. This is kind of my main thing that I've been studying over the past uh, couple months or so. So uh, none of this is financial advice. I don't think I'm going to talk about, well, I will talk about some specific ones, but yeah, I'm not a financial professional. This is not financial advice, so do your own research before investing. But anyway, so we've got our user here, uh, Mr. Purple Pac-Man Head, which is all of you. Uh, and we pretty much are interacting with the DEX site, whether it's a website, whether it's their mobile app. Um, so uh, there's many of them coming out right now of uh, DEXs. Kind of the first couple were uh, Uniswap and PancakeSwap. Those are the two major ones, of course, right now. And, uh, you know, Uniswap kind of used the Ethereum virtual machines smart contracts and to, sw to swap assets. And so the uh, smart contracts are programs that live on the blockchain. They can't be changed once they're up there. So they just sit and wait for interactions. So the DEX app is interacting with a blockchain smart contract. And those smart contracts are holding uh, liquidity pools, which are various assets that uh, the DEX site allows to be traded. And so our wallet is interacting directly with these liquidity pools. They're also called automated market makers. So the smart contracts themselves, you could think of them as being the automated market makers, which are liquidity pools. Um, so we have uh, various users can put up or stake. Well, I guess stake isn't exactly the right word but um, it could be called staking it could be called farming but users uh, put and lock up assets into the liquidity pools um, and the smart contracts regulate all that so that um, instead of the old way of um, you know like stocks and ETF etc centralized exchanges you know with like uh, it, on those websites, you needed to have a buyer to match what you were selling and vice versa. So those had to be matched up um, exactly in order for a trade to take place. Um, and those were done on, those are done on order books. So this new way of decentralized exchange is that uh, there's these liquidity pools locked up in the smart contracts. So when each user is interacting with the DEX site, uh, they're they're interacting with the liquidity pool, so it's our personal wallet. Whether that's uh, a hardware wallet, whether that's uh, maybe an app, maybe a Chrome app, um, or uh, maybe uh, you know some kind of software wallet, those wallets are interacting with the liquidity pools. Um, and sometimes the Dex site can also set aside some of their own personal coins. That's another very popular thing. That's uh, very interesting, and I suggest you research those new coins coming out um, because these DEXs have their own, you know, for example, like Uniswap has the Unicoin, and that's kind of the base coin for trade. So that's another big way that liquidity pools are, are also happening is that uh, the DEX has their own uh, base trading coin as well. So... Um, that's you know there's a few ways that these are these are happening um which makes sense you know there's a lot of different ones so um a lot of there's like some new projects on for example the xdc network there's uh xsp that there's gbex those are two uh, dex coins that are coming out on xdc and they're providing you know very cheap fees uh very fast fees um, there's one that's uh, that I've covered pretty extensively is called Sologenic. Uh, that's the Solo coin, S-O-L-O, on the XRP ledger, and you know they're just utilizing the speed, um, the 
their kind of algorithmic consensus instead of proof of stake. So these are like the XDC consensus and the and the XRP consensus is being used as the engine for these new DEXs. And there's some ones coming out on IOTA and I mean pretty much almost every blockchain is just exploding with these DEXs. And they're for the most part they're each gonna have their uh, you know their DEX coin. So those are you know very interesting coins to be researching. Um, that's about it I wanted to point you towards and uh, I just want you to be aware that there's kind of this new uh, generation I guess it's being called third generation of DEXs coming out on these chains um, so yeah do some research there's just hundreds coming out of DEXs and it looks like there's a lot of efforts for cross-chain DEXs as well so uh, for the most part, um, like the XDC DEXs only allow for trading of XDC coins and projects. And that's kind of the same with uh, Sologenic on XRP Ledger for now. Um, and also these DEXs are looking to bridge traditional assets as well. So that they can tokenize, you know, stocks and ETFs and, you know, pretty much everything, commodities. And that's really where I see the future heading is that uh, these DEXs will be connected up. Uh, they'll, they'll be, they will be cross-chain DEXs. They will be uh, tokenized traditional asset DEXs. And pretty much our wallets will just be interacting with these liquidity pools that uh, seem to be growing and connecting as well. So um, yeah, a lot of the technology seems to be just in cross connections such as that. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a less, less of a, a competition model and more of a cooperation model and whoever and whatever projects like link up cross chain the best, such as uh, Cosmos and Atom. I mean, they're all about cross chain. Um, you know, the Binance smart chain is a fascinating one. Um, yeah, it's kind of an endless area of research that I'm going through. So. Um, yeah, leave a question below, leave a comment if I didn't explain it well enough. And on my uh, blog, I've got a few DEX articles that I've made, and I'm making a DEX um, little free course, and this is part of it too. So check out all the links below, uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe, or give me a subscribe, and uh, check out my blog. I'm writing on it every day. All right, good luck out there. Have a good one.